this video we will be doing the further steps after the resi registration process so let's log in I hope you all have your login and password with you because the website has started working so get yourself registered and if all the things are correctly filled then you will be surely getting registered so let us get ourselves sign in so these are my credentials and now I am getting login I'll be sharing each and every step with you so that you will get a rough idea how to fill up the form okay so today itself or the yesterday itself the website has started accepting the new registration for all those who have registered themselves before 7th of june they already had the next okay so this are the these are the details okay that are already filled in the first section that is in the sign in section okay so i have to click here on allow treatment and then further we will be moving next is add request button to request the new contribution and this open ticket is for something if you want to ask something to the people then you can generate a ticket that will correspond to your username and password and so they will be resolving your queries if you have any queries just you have to open a ticket for the second year students if uh, they fail to comply with the credits they can upload the uh, credit uh, whichever they get after the deadline by opening this ticket okay so there is a provision for them now we have to click on here add request after clicking add request we are left with call for right to education 2021 to 2022 we'll click here request as you can see we have nine steps here we have nine steps here we'll be dealing with all the steps if this website will be working okay so the status of the application is yet incomplete no mailings have been done now we'll be moving forward okay then again we'll be moving forward the residence data is the same forward since the application has opened a week ago so you will be facing some technical issues try doing with other browser or with uh, using a laptop domicile relating to the year okay is domicile different from the residence for those no you have to fill no for those yes you have to fill yes so i am filling on no then pass and then forward if i would have selected yes then again i have to fill the new address done so let it load and uh, next is so next is the domicilio legally let's see what is that i think i think this is something yes and select where the student wants official correspondence to be delivered at the residence address okay wherever you want it to be delivered you have to click that is you have your uh, documents regarding that address that's why it is written here legal domicile so something is there in the red let's see what they are talking about so in the first option it is showing some error so we will be choosing the second option that is residence domicile address okay so we will be moving forward so now and then you will be facing the session expired prompt so don't worry just keep on trying because 
every year it happens that this website faces some technical issues so you have to bear with them okay so since i am doing the real time application it would take some time so consider forwarding the video if delay occurs so once you fill uh, once you start filling your form the status will show like this okay and over and over you can edit your form until you finally submit that now compilation of the application it will keep on showing from the very first step okay whenever you open that let's just click, click on the forward button so once uh, for one time i have already faced the session expired prompt so let's see what happens so we are left here with what is this happening <laughs> this step the beneficial step okay that is you want scholarship yes you want accommodation place yes you want contribution for international mobility who will be leaving in the year 2021 to 2022 so if you have uh, if you are a new student click no if you are a uh, subsequent year students click yes that is if it uh, if you uh, uh, if it is the final year of your graduation then you can click on yes then have you obtained or will you obtain for the academic year a scholarship granted in an MBA capacity so you are not applying for any other scholarship then click on no have you obtained will obtain subsidy no scholarships by other bodies if you have no okay then payment method of payment if you have your uh, I mean uh, Italian account then you can fill okay if you don't have right now what we have done last year we don't we didn't have our account last year so what we did we just choose the first option and when we reached italy and uh, then we'll open the bank account we have opened the bank account and then we have submitted the account number and the iban number to them and then the payment was transferred to us for, for those who are outside italy and they don't have a sepa account so what they can do they can choose this option done so let's move to the forward page so you can see this website is not working very smoothly this bear patience okay i have clicked forward button and then also it is showing the same page so i want you to show the last the qualification section because the qualification uh, section many of the students are having queries so um, as you can see that this step is coming again and again so what we can do we just log out okay so exit and progress we will be logging out what we will do we will again log in ourselves then so these are the hacks that you have to do yourself don't get irritated this is italian website and that that too this is scholarship website so you have to be a patience okay so here you will find this active call section then again access the form again and again we have to do the same thing i'm filling up the form i have faced two times log out it could take two to three days to complete the form due to the issues occurring in the website let's go forward so I hope all your documents are uh, prepared. Temporary one maybe they are prepared I guess. So consider them uploading if you have them. Most of the students what they have done they have make a single um, certificate or the affidavit of uh, this family income and composition and the asset certificate they have merged uh, that 
so that also you can do otherwise if you have uh, two separate uh, certificates what you can do you can just scan those certificates and you can merge that pdf okay and the bank statement i hope you all have get that okay so we have already filled this no i think not we don't we didn't benefits part we have done okay so we are moving forward you have to click here i ban okay then we'll move forward and this is not working so i am here by signing in website is not getting tra translated itself by this translator so what we have to do we have to each time we have to click and we have to find out what is the meaning so these are the universities in uh, if you are uh, a student of these universities you can apply to the lazio disco uh, scholarship so i am clicking on university of sapienza so let's see what does this mean uh, this is registered at the branch office yes or no we are not registered uh, in a branch office yet because we are foreign students i guess so what is the what is the faculty you can write the faculty engineering okay so next is uh, course masters for masters you have to write the magistrata so i am writing lauria magistrata if it is there okay and then the academic year so let's see what does this mean most of all because if you don't know the meaning of something you cannot fill correctly of first year of enrollment so if you are a first year student you have to click 2021 to 2022 now next is it is your first year what is this i think this is the duration okay type of course that is in course matricula you must have yourself uh, get gotten yourself registered on infosted so you have to write your matricula so i am writing my matricula okay now the career is in progress okay let's see what is this previous career that is we have to write about our bachelors we have to write the name of the university so le let's write about the university so let's write write about the faculty i'm writing here engineering it is getting written environment engineering okay now next is which type of course is this again it is not getting translated <laughs> that's why all the children are so much worried so what is the year that shows what is the year of your graduation and what was your final year not the duration because some children are filling duration year you don't have to write 14 or 18 or 13 or 19 or 13 or 17 like this you have to fill in the final final year for example if somebody has passed down in 2018 to 2019 you have to fill that okay 2019 okay and then uh, whatever the course year was so let's write the four year and the credits necessary uh, what does this mean <laughs> so let's check required for access to the teaching profession uh, i don't think we belong here so let's click no as far as i think additional personal data we don't have additional personal data okay so let's click on forward here listen students the website is making a lot of issue so keep on trying 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 i also have been looking for a dummy um, this registration because the website was not getting uh, worked 
now it has started working and then too it is slow so I just want you to show all the crucial steps I want you to show how to fill the income details and the family details so the qualification part was yes it was confusing so that is done now you have a rough idea about the qualification part okay so again what is it showing something in red control okay i have done the engineering part so i have to write something what is in engineering okay so next and if you stuck anywhere just share the screenshots with me on insta i will surely uh, try to resolve because these are some of the uh, i mean obstacles that i am facing you must be facing some other obstacles so just share the screenshots on insta i will try my best to resolve that so now this is the crucial one that we have reached the definition of the family that is we have to write the family income okay definition and current composition of the applicants family unit okay so what is this meaning let's see i hope i have learned italian total number of a uh, number of member family members so uh, many members um, i mean many students have asked about this uh, that uh, married uh, siblings should be included or not i think personally that don't include them because uh, they are uh, substantially they are not contributing in your family if they are contributing you can include them if they aren't you you just omit them okay so you can write just the four members and what does this mean let's see every time you have to do i mean what is this oh my god oh my god so it meant if uh, parents there so yes they are um, there are parents so the status of the parents if they are married separated divorced or they are single you have to write that and again so the video is getting a little bit longer number of brothers and sisters present in the family that is your sibling maybe two if there are four members mother father and the siblings now what is the next one presence of the applicants children do you have children no okay then presence of the applicant's spouse in the family do you have a spouse yes or no you wish you had okay so you will be clicking no how many members in your household excluding the applicant do not reside in the Italy no one reside in Italy so we'll just write zero next is what is the next number of other cohabitants in the applicant's family unit so again zero no one is cohabitant not like that you don't have if, if, if they are there also you need not mention what is the purpose of mentioning these what is they are talking about la soma what is this oh my god this is not getting translated the sum of the family members is not corresponding to the declared composition so there might be some mistake let's see let's click 5 here and then we'll move forward so the last we are left in the last step so let's type of income declared oh my god this is income so i think we have foreign income your family unit has declared income in 2019 so those of you who are dependent on italian uh, i mean person who is earning in italy you will click italy here okay and if you are someone whose income is declared in foreign state you will click on foreign state here and you have to mention the state done this video is getting a much a bit longer bear with me okay because you have to write the value in euros 
okay so if someone is having 1200 euros per year we can write that now what is this patrimony i think this is father's total movable assets okay do you have movable assets i don't have i'll write zero now what is this ownership of the dwelling house do you own the house yes or no no i don't so next is ownership of the other building do you have other buildings no and that would ultimately lead you to be the winner of the scholarship if you feel like these and then the you want scholarship yes so this is the scholarship one you want accommodation yes obviously you want if you are first year student just click here on the contribution section click no if you are the final stu uh, student and you want international mobility for the Erasmus program then you have to click yes and then you have to fill about the preference of the accommodation place so just go and search whichever suits you and just keep on filling so let's fill i'll be filling something at random but you don't feel like that okay then again what is this keep on translating have you obtained will receive contribution no well no i won't be receiving so next i think these all are no as far as i know so if you want to choose only two preference you can choose and leave the rest and then we'll be moving forward this video is getting a bit longer and this is so boring what is this you must select all accommodation preferences okay so select all those and this is the last step i guess no this is not the last step my god you have to select all so let me tell you one thing about the university hostels i mean the hostels offered by lazio what you get uh, uh, i mean uh, plus point plus point is that you can um, have your meal delivered here if you are a winner of um, mensa card this uh, scholarship and you can uh, be the meal you uh, have at mensa you can order them at your place and that is your university hostel these hostels you can get okay so let's choose all those let's move forward i have chosen all the and then let's move forward and fill the last step and in the last step what we have to do we have to upload the permiso di sojourno this is the residence permit in residence permit what you have to upload for foreign students you have to upload your passport and and uh, next declaration of value that is i think your dov so what is the dov you have to get the dov from your uh, visa application center you have to upload that and then you have to upload these files and then you have to move forward after that what you have to upload you have to upload certain documents that is your uh, you have to merge the document your bank account your income and your assets you have to merge all these documents and you have to upload if you don't have the postiled and the um, hrd done before 28th of july you can upload the temporary documents and after that you can upload the uh, i mean your permanent documents okay you will get a, a short span of time before 10 of august you have to upload the permanent documents and once you declare your income let me tell you one thing that uh, uh, in the first step what you uh, what is uh, there what what they are doing they are just short listing you on the basis of the declaration of your income just what you fill that uh, since i have filled 1200 euros so in the first um, 
uh, I mean the round they'll be shortlisting me just on the basis of this and the um, plus my assets and all these they'll be shortlisting you or uh, shortlisting us on the basis of this software on the basis of this calculation they are not seeing your uh, I mean this uploading part and in the second round they'll be seeing your uploading part as well and then they'll be matching with the uh, I mean the um, cross questioning with the um, university and verifying that if you are a um, real prospective student or not so these are some of the tips that i want to give you and if you have any query just drop it down in the comment section and dm me on insta and don't forget to subscribe my channel i'm always there to help you thank you have a nice day stay blessed